When it rains on your street or driveway, that water doesn't go to a water treatment plant, but rather, it ends up in our streams and rivers. An upcoming snorkel trail aims to remind people why protecting these rivers is so important, and teach them about the critters that rely on clean water to live. I zipped up a wetsuit and dove into the Catawba's South Fork to see that you don't have to head to the tropics to snorkel. Catawba Riverkeeper's Jim Dunn has just turned over a rock to reveal a small insect larva crawling along the underside. Oh, there's a guy. What do we got? Uh, this is a mayfly, I believe. How can you tell that that's a mayfly? Uh, because it has three tails. She's snorkeling in the Henry Fork River, scouting it out for a future snorkeling trail. Near its source in South Mountain State Park, the water is crystal clear. The guided snorkel tour would get folks up close and personal with crawdads, fish, and other critters like stonefly larva, all signs that the river is healthy. She hopes that by getting more people under the water, they'll see why protecting it is so important. If people don't know about it, they're not going to care about it, they're not going to protect it. Catawba Riverkeeper is planning to add two snorkel trails in the Upper South Fork Basin to the Blue Ridge Snorkel Trail for next summer. I'm Zachary Turner in Charlotte.